So here we are at the Pakistan Community Hall and the crossing of 88 and Stockton with Richard Hussain. So good evening Richard. And what are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm here to reach out to some community members uh, from the Fijian community. Um, my parents are actually from Trinidad and Tobago, and we grew up quite close to a lot of people from the Fijian community. And I just want to make sure that those ties, are, ties get a little bit closer. And um, you know, uh, if I'm going to be a representative of the people, I need to know the people. So, can you follow the language? Uh, unfortunately, the last person that could speak uh, any language other than English was my grandfather, so I'm not so good at following language, but I'm pretty good at reading body language and communicating from, you know, and gestures and body language, so I, I tend to rely on that a bit. What is your policy on <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, I remember we, we talked about that. Actually, um, um, I have some fair knowledge on GMO foods. Um, I know that, you know, with you know companies like Monsanto, for example, you know, the type of, you know, genetically modified seeds that they produce don't encourage the biodiversity of seed um, of seeds you know, going into the future. I mean, if we're, if we're, you know, the environment is constantly changing and you know, normal seeds will, 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 will adapt to the way, um, you know, um, for instance, climate change you know, is going to happen. It's, it's already happening and the seeds are going to adapt to climate change. If we're using genetically modified seeds, for example, there will be no adaption of those seeds and, you know, genetic biodiversity will not occur and that's not going to help, you know, you know, suits, uh, you know, food crops in the future, it's not going to help really anything for human or, or, or animal, you know, domestic farming, uh, you know, agriculture, it's not going to be helpful. So, I mean, the Green Party wants to take a stance uh, as far as, you know, labeling of GMO foods. We want to see the end of GMO food production in the country here, in the province. Um, I think it's really important to kind of recognize that, the, you know, moving, genetically modified foods are not, um, you know, has, there's no long-term testing into seeing what, the, you know, the, the effects are on, on humans or animals or, or, or even the environment. Um, especially when you see these monocrops of, you know, BT corn, for example, um, that encourages soil degradation and that's not good for humans or animals or the ecosystem in the long run so um, as far as GMO goes I'm totally against it um, even regardless of what the party says I'm totally against it so you know it's uh, it's not something that it, it's not of the interest of, of, of the people and all across the globe so I think it's uh, you know, we've seen devastations on the farmer level um, you know uh, crop failures we've seen people here domestically in, in Saskatchewan in particular I know of um, some farmers that have basically faced lawsuits by Monsanto just because of, um, you know their seeds have been found on, on, on their land and just you know you can't control where the wind blows but you can control what type of seeds are being used on the farm so I mean you know um, and, and there's tons of con con conflict of interest I know in, in, in America in particular uh, Clarence Thomas who is you know the, uh, the, the attorney for Monsanto is now sitting on I believe as the commissioner of the FDA um, that's a complete conflict of interest. I don't understand how there's no types of uh, you know third-party regulation to prevent these types of things from happening. But that's a clear conflict of interest, in my opinion. So I, you know, those are the types of things that must be prevented here in Canada as well, and you know, they have to be addressed overseas as well.